Good morning. Sorry, I'm not there today. Uh, just a couple of reminders. Today, we are taking a short quiz. It's only going to be six questions, but it's going to be over 8 1 and 8 4. Um, everybody needs to take the test. So, uh, or sorry, the quiz. So, you need to make sure that you are um, taking it and turn it into the sub. Um, for the first set of questions from last night's homework, I want to go over those before you take the quiz. So, take out your homework. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. It is page 711. There's a spot on Canvas to turn it in. Um, I initially hadn't posted it, but it is there right now. So make sure you get that turned in um, by midnight tonight. But again, page 711 is where we're starting off. So on 711, we were doing 1 through 19 odds. So I'm going to read off the answers real quick, and then I'm going to go over a couple of the problems. Number one was nine. Number three was yes. Number five was no. When we got to the next section, uh, seven through 10, that was my mistake. They are construction problems. I did skip over the construction. We do not need to do that part. So um, you did not need seven and nine. So if you're confused on those, I'm sorry about that. Moving on now. Correct answers for number 11 was CE. Number 13 was BD. Number 15 was six. Number 17, Y was 12. Number 19, P was 27. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of those problems now. So hopefully you made note of which ones you had problems with. We're going to take a look at a few of them together. And again, not all of them. But on number one, you had a triangle with two parallel sides drawn on it. So the sides we're being split proportionally. So we could split this side. If I extend this and extend this, that's like my fraction bar. And I'm solving for this piece here, AB. So we have our fractions, X over three and 12 over four. And that's exactly how you should write your proportion. X over three equals 12 over four. Cross multiply and solve. So we have four times X is four X, 12 times three, 12 times 3 is going to give us 36. And then divide to get x all by itself. And we have not. That's it. Again, just going back, double checking, they did want us to solve for a, b. So that was our final answer. Going on to number 3 on this one. It said determine whether the two are parallel. So notice, they gave us all the parts. So we're still saying proportion, just like before. So I extended that parallel line, use it as my fraction bar. I have eight over five is equal to 12 over 7.5. So you can do this a couple of ways. Again, in order for the lines to be parallel, the segments have to be proportional. So are they proportional? Well, you could either Look at the two sides and say, all right, if they're, or if they're equal. Here, it's hard to tell if those are equal. So I'm just going to cross multiply. If I cross multiply and get the same value, then they are equivalent. So I'm going to do 8 times 7.5 equals 5 times 12. So we have 8 times 7.5. Let's bring up a cafe real quick. Eight times 7.5 is 60. And 5 times 12 is also 60. So since we get two values that are equal, then they are going to be Proportional. So this would be yes to them being parallel. Yes. And on to the next one. Clear. All right. And if you need to go back and pause at any time, by all means, do that. But I want this to be a fast thing just so um, you have plenty of time on the quiz. Again, it is only six questions. So. So constructions, all right? This is a part that you can skip. 
Um, we did not do constructions. You do not need to do constructions for this section. So seven and nine, we're gonna skip past those. Moving on to number 11 on the back of that page. So now we're on page 712. And again, we're solving using our proportions. So we have BD, which is this piece, over BF, which is the entire side. So we need to match it up with a ratio that's equivalent from the opposite side, the opposite transversal that's going through these. So, well, BD was on top, and it was from this transversal. Now we're using the opposite transversal, and the part that's in the same segment as BD, so here's BD, the one in that same segment is EC. So what we're missing here is segment EC, or the length of EC. On number 13, all right, again, look at how they're matching them up. So we have EG this time. Let me erase what I have so far. So EG is going to be this segment here. And it's matched up with EC, or CE, which is this piece. So using both of the small pieces on this side. So now we should match them up with the small pieces on the other side. So they have DF. And the other one would be DB. So you, again, you could either call this DB or BD. Either way works. But it's DB. Yeah. Let's move this up so we can do the next problem. All right, on this next one, for exercise 15, it says find the length of the indicated segment. Again, same thing. This is setting it up using our parallel lines. They want us to find VX, which is this little segment right here. So again, use these lines as our fraction bars, set it up. We have 20 over eight is equal to 15 over the piece we're trying to find. I'm just gonna call it X for now. And then we can cross and multiply and solve. So we have 20 X equals eight times 15. So 20 X, let's see, that's gonna be, I believe that's one, 20. Let me think about that again. Yeah, I think that's 120. I would just want to be sure, though. So I'm going to use it, the calculator just to double check my work since I don't have you guys in class double checking my work for me. Let's see. 8 times 15. Yep. All right. So now divide by 20. So when I divide this by 20, that ended up being just six. And that's the length of XV. And always look at your drawing and see if that makes sense. So if you got a number that was bigger than 15, that definitely wouldn't make sense, right? If I got a number that was even bigger than eight, that wouldn't make sense because if these have to be proportional and the numbers on the left side are bigger, then I know this little piece has to be less than the piece that was in that same segment from the other side. So my answer had to be a number that was less than eight. All right. Otherwise, I should know that I did something wrong. So again, use the diagrams to help check your work. All right, uh, number 17. This time they gave us an angle bisector. Again, the angle bisector, that is splitting up the sides proportionally to the third side. So we're using that angle bisector like a fraction bar. Split those, set them equal. So. If I rewrite this, and again, there's more than one way to write this correctly. So I did y over 8 equals 6 over 4. Again, if you flip both of those fractions, it's still the same proportion because you're still going to cross multiply and solve, and it'll still work out. So 4 times y is 4y. 8 times 6. Now, at this point, as long as you got this statement, your proportion should have been correct. So like I said before, there's many ways to set up this proportion. If your proportion doesn't look like that, it's okay. But once you cross multiply, this should be it. So now we have 4y equals, that's 48, divide by 4, and we get 12. All right. There's one last question. So 
So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oops, clear. All right, number 19, still doing the same thing. So set up our proportion. This is our fraction bar. Again, P over 16.5, probably getting a calculator on this one, equals this side. We don't have a, a number here, but we can find it. We have the whole thing is 29. This piece is 11. So this piece has to be 29 minus 11. So this would be 18. So in our fraction, 18 on top, 11 on bottom. Again, making sure we set it up a correct proportion. So now we have to cross multiply, P times 11 is 11P. 16.5 times 18. Again, pull up my calculator there. 16.5 times 18 equals 297. I have 11P equals 297. Finally, divide by 11. That gives us 27. And that was the homework from last night. So please make sure you get that turned in if you hadn't already done it. Also, um, you're taking a quiz. Everybody, again, everybody should be taking this quiz. It is There's a Scantron in the center of the quiz. All your answers need to be marked in the Scantron. Make sure you bubble your student number. There is one correction on the quiz. The one that says select all that apply. I believe it was number uh, four. On the quiz, I gave you a hint that said select four answers. You're only to select three answers. There was one mistake on there. I fixed the mistake, but again, on the paper, it still says select four. You only need to select three. And again, it's all or nothing, so make sure you select three answers. If you don't select three, it's going to be wrong. If you select more than three, it's also going to be wrong. So read through them carefully and make sure you select three answers that work. Um, other than that, Make sure everything else goes away. Cell phones need to go away. Um, electronics need to go away. The only thing you should have out on your desk is a pencil and a calculator. And then the sub can pass out the quiz. And you guys have the rest of the time to get that done. Have a good day. Good luck.